Alex Stamos is Chief Product Officer at Corridor and former Chief Security Officer at Facebook. Alex, it's great to see you. I don't know if you'd have any comment on whether Meta is training off of this Chinese model. Yeah, I don't have any specific insight. I'm not at Meta anymore. Uh, what that's called is distillation. So when you're building a model, one of the ways you can train it is you could ask another model millions or billions of questions, take that output, uh, and then build your model to give similar kinds of output. Uh, that is, is widely believed and pretty much proven that this is how DeepSeek jumped way ahead by doing this using uh, OpenAI's models running in Microsoft's cloud. Uh, so it, it is not shocking uh, that Facebook would be doing the same thing. It does indicate, uh, as you're talking about, that the Chinese have taken the lead in the open weight models. If, if you're looking for those open source models that you can modify as a company, it looks like right now the best models are coming from China. So, yeah, I mean, or it almost sounds parasitic to me that Facebook would be saying, oh, just go trade on their models and do it cheaper. And then we're, I mean, it, the whole thing is a bit strange. Uh, it, this is becoming, it, it is kind of frowned upon uh, and seen as, as a little bit rude in the AA space, uh, but it's also becoming a, a standard kind of competitive way to bootstrap your model, uh, to base it upon the work somebody else has done. Again, it, it looks like this is how DeepSeek jumped ahead way far with their model that made huge waves. Uh, and as CNBC viewers know, uh, caused real disruption to NVIDIA stock price going up and down, up and down, um, was that they trained it themselves. They did a lot of work themselves, and not to take that away from them. But they also based it upon asking millions and millions of questions of OpenAI's model to see how it reacted. Uh, and so it looks like we're, we're doing the same thing as Americans to now try to build upon the work the Chinese researchers have done. So what does that mean when we're trying to increase encourage our own AI regulation. We're fighting against China, but also training off of their models. I mean, um, yeah. you know, what do you think of the, the president's EO? Appropriate? Or, or do we need to let states kind of move ahead in certain areas in regulating the usage of AI? So from the lawyers I've talked to, there's a lot of question of whether or not this EO is legal. The president generally does not have the ability to change state law or to punish states for passing their own laws. This is why we have a constitution. We live in a republic where states are allowed to have their own laws. Um, as a technologist, I absolutely agree that we should have a federal framework. But the federal framework should come from Congress. Um, and uh, as uh, your reporter pointed out, the Chinese actually have extremely strict AI regulation. So the, the framing that there's no way to compete with China uh, unless you have no regulation at all, I think is incorrect. Uh, I, my fear here is that the AI industry is heading towards the same kind of danger we had in social media a decade ago, where the social media companies push back, push back, push back against any possible regulatory uh, framework. And as a result, ended up with there basically being no rules and now a huge amount of pushback from a number of democracies, including Australia, including Europe. Uh, and if the AI industry doesn't embrace some kind of reasonable set of safety uh, and security controls here, uh, we're going to see the same kind of downstream negative effects totally. and then a huge political pushback against the industry. You know, look how they're being sued already by that. families of those who have committed murders and, and, and others. But should they just so what are the odds that it being so early on, how is Congress supposed to know how to begin to regulate this industry? I can understand your point. Regulate it, accept the regulation, avoid a, a major backlash. But that means Congress has to come up with that regulation now. They do. And I think what we need is we need a flexible set of rules that are applied as close as possible to the application of AI to the actual problem set. I think one of the problems of the state laws is that they focus on the fundamental models, but like uh, an open AI model or an anthropic model or one of the Chinese models doesn't mean a lot just by itself. It, it, it's just a tool that can be used for millions of different applications. What we really need is a risk-based framework that looks at how we're using AI and then sets up reasonable guidelines to push for people to think about. So if you're using AI for medical purposes, hmm. if you're using AI to make decisions in a business, that there are certain regulations that you have to follow and tests you have to do to make sure you're, you're doing things appropriately. Yeah.